Well, last night here at Camden Yards, Miguel Gonzalez was beyond outstanding. Goes a season high eight innings. His fifth start of the year in 10 of at least seven. Improves his home record or the ERA at home to 2.52 and no decision, so still 3 0. And against the Rays now, 1 1 on the year and a 0.84 ERA. And Miguel joins us here on the set. Great to have him up here. And Miguel, now you're dominating Tampa Bay. In your career, you have 14 starts against the Rays, most against any opponent, and you have three this year, most against any opponent. Now, I was under the impression that the more you face a team, they dominate. What about that? Why is it that you're able to pitch so well against them, even though you see them so often? I think it's because we face them uh, so many times, and we know we know the sequences that we have to go through, and uh, that that really helps. That's that's a positive thing for us, and just staying focused and uh, being ourselves and making pitches. I think that's been working. Now, we also showed, uh, as you went eight innings last night, you now have five starts of at least seven on the year, tied with Ubaldo for the most on the team, and that's just through ten starts. And I look back last year through ten starts, only once did you reach seven innings. What's different about this year that you're more consistently getting deeper in games? Um, really, really getting, uh, you know, hard work in between, uh, between starts and um, – really wanting to get to those 200 innings this year and just staying healthy I think that's the most important thing for me and uh, being able to to uh, to be a part of this is, is it's been great honestly. Miggy you know from a catcher's eye I've noticed something different about you although you've been in some pretty good stretches since you've been with this ball club nine and four your first year all of your pitches seem to be improved this season a better slider a better split finger fastball and you're commanding your pitches so much better early on in the season what's been the difference for you? Might be the weather. I don't know. This year, this year, uh, you know, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't too cold at the beginning of the season, so I, I was feeling good about it. And uh, just uh, being able to, to uh, command every pitch and uh, be able to, uh, to, to be yourself and, and um, not, try, not, try not to do too much, I think that's been helping a lot. And, um, you know, talking to the catchers and getting ready in between starts, that's, that's been helping a lot. So now let's look back at last night. Rick yep. was bringing up the pitch repertoire. Let's look at a couple of pitches as he's alluding to, the sliders and the fastballs and the command you had of each pitch last night. Go ahead. Tell us what you're doing there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just throwing the ball as hard as it can, and hopefully it Yeah, but look at the spin on drops. this ball, though, Miggy. Really I mean, good. right on the black with your pitches and everything. You know, yeah. I know you went through some good stretches, but at times last year, too, you had problems with your command. But we're not seeing it in these replays right here. We're seeing everything kind of fall in place for you. When you're trying to hit a corner, you're right on the black. I don't know. I think I had it going last night pretty well. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we we know Are that. Are we making this we, difficult for you? No, no. This is. This I don't think is, he likes the compliments. I think he's too shy. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I honestly I don't I like talking about. I don't like talking about myself. I like talking about my teammates. And I think we we played really good defense. And Caleb did a really good job uh, calling the game, changing speeds, and um, you know when when CD uh, is is in the game and. Uh, he, he has a pretty good chance of giving us a chance to win ball games. Um, guys getting on base late in the game. That was our thing, 2012, and uh, you know it's it's uh, coming along really well this this year. We're, we're doing a good job with uh, staying within ourselves and and being able to to uh, win those uh, close ball games now. And uh, I'm happy with uh, JJ Hardy coming back and doing what he's doing and. You know, not trying to do too much in the ninth, in the ninth inning uh, with uh, runner on first and third, and he got a hanging curveball and in, in, uh, hammered it to to left field, and that's that's really what what he is. Well, talking about your teammates, you know, Matt Weeders went down with the Tommy John, and now you've had a you've had to work with Caleb Joseph for a while. Has there been some differences between those two guys that you've noticed? Um. I'll tell you what, uh, Witty, Witty talks to, to the guys all the time, and um, that's what we're all about. We're here to help out each other, and that's what we get better every, every time uh, we're out there. And 
um, minimize minimize damage, and that's what uh, Caleb's been doing really well. I mean, uh, he's he's learning every day out there, like we are as well. All right, well, Miguel, congratulations on a big outing last night. It's always good to get that first game in the series. Now the Orioles have a chance to have a big weekend, and uh, keep it going. And don't be a stranger. Stop up here more often. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, I love it up here. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. There's our future partner, Miguel Gonzalez, in about 15 years after his playing days are over.